In this episode, I'm talking all about multicam editing. I'm going to show you how to sync your videos inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and then use a multicam editing technique to view both video clips at the same time to live edit between the two clips. So let's get into it. So as you can see, we're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and we've got these two video clips imported. So these two clips are from this tutorial series. This was a previous episode. This first shot is the wide shot and the second shot is the close up. So before we can start multicam editing, we first just want to make sure that we get these synced up with one another. So there's two ways of doing that. So first of all, I like to use a sync clap. So at the start of every single clip, I do a sync clap. As you can see, that clap creates a spike. And then all I have to do is just look for that specific spike. So I can just cut there. And then I can go to the first clip and I can find that spike. As you can see, there is a spike here. There's a spike in the audio here. And then what I would do is I would just cut before that sync clap, cut there, and then just drag these clips on top of each other like so. But the problem is if you don't have a sync clap, then what do you do? Well, first of all, you just want to make sure you delete all of the pointless audio tracks. So I'm just going to select everything. We'll unlink those layers. And then I'm just going to delete all of these except for the top one. There you go. So this one is just the scratch audio from the camera. We're just going to select them all. We're going to right click and press link. So now the audio and the video are now linked. Then we'll do the same thing for this channel. So we'll delete all of the channels that we don't need. Then we're just going to select those again, right click and press link. So now this layer and this layer are now linked. Now from here, we're just going to select all of those. We'll right click and then we're just going to go into synchronize. Then we're going to make sure that this is on audio and then you want to make sure that you sync up to the microphone of choice. So the microphone that I want to prioritize, this microphone was recorded on this channel, which is currently on channel two. So we'll change that to two. Press OK. Premiere is going to take a second to analyze the footage. But once that's finished, you'll notice that these two video clips are now synced in. And if we zoom into that sync clap, you can see that the spikes are now at the same point in time. So these are now perfectly synced. So all we have to do now is just delete all the stuff before here. So we want to make sure they start at the same time. So we'll cut that. Then we'll go all the way to the end and we'll do the same thing again. Make sure that there's no overlap at the end. So we'll delete this end bit. And now these are synced up. So from here, I'm just going to delete this scratch audio like so. So we're going to unlink, delete that scratch audio, and then we'll drag the main audio up onto audio layer one. So we've got our two cameras and we've got our audio. Now from here, we just want to go ahead and nest these video clips into their own nested sequence. We talked briefly about nested sequence on a previous episode. So to show you how to do this, we're just going to select everything, right click, and we'll go nest. Then you can rename this, uh, we'll call this tutorial. And now all of those video clips have been shrunk into one nested sequence. Now from here, we need to go ahead and we need to turn this into a multi-camera nest. So what we're gonna do is we're going to select that nested sequence, we'll right click, we'll go into multi-camera and select enable. So that has enabled that as a multi-cam edit. So it knows there are two video clips in this nested sequence that we want to cut from. Now from here, we need to go into the workspace. So we'll go into the settings button. It looks like a little wrench or a spanner. Then we'll go into multi-camera. So at the moment we're in the composite video, we want to change this to multi-camera. And as you can see, that gives us a live preview of our multi-cam edit. So I'm just going to expand the size of this. And as you can see, we've got camera one, this is our wide, and then we've got camera two, this is our close up. So let's take this back to the beginning. We'll cut roughly where we want this to start. So we're gonna start somewhere around here. And now essentially to edit this in real time, we're just going to play this back. I'll turn the audio down so it doesn't distract us. As you can see, they're both playing at the same time. They're both synced up, which looks great. And to multi-cam edit this sequence, all you have to do is just press one and that will cut to camera one and then press two and it will cut to camera two. And every time you press one of these numbers on your keyboard, it's going to make a cut in this nested sequence. We'll go, we'll go into the meat of the video. So we'll go somewhere around here, play this back. We'll go to camera two. 
And then we can cut back to one. Cut back to two. And then we'll cut back to one and let's stop. So as you can see, by doing that, we've got all of these different cuts in the nested sequence. And as you can see in this monitor here, it's cutting back between the different cameras. Now, if you had three or four different cameras, these will show up. So you'll have one, two, three, four. You can also add in a few other video layers if you want. So if you want to edit a show or a performance, this is the best way of doing that. If you are editing an interview, this is also a really handy way of doing that because you can see everything playing at the same time. But if you make a cut on accident, let's say you cut to a camera angle and then the camera wobbled, how do you go ahead and amend that? Well, all you have to do is just go to that cut that you messed up. So let's go here. We'll just hover over this cut. At the moment, I selected one. If I wanted to change this to two, just press two and it will cut back to number two. Multicam editing is a really smart feature inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and using multicam editing is going to save you the time and the hassle of having to turn off video layers to see what you're looking at. You can just look at everything in one go and that's going to make your life so much easier. This is also really handy if you're editing music videos. You can load up all of the different performances on the screen and you can just pick whichever performance looks great at that specific time. So multicam editing is going to save you a world of time when it comes to editing. And there you go. That's it for the multicam episode. In the next episode, I'm going to talk all about keying and green screen footage. So see you there.